I found a new ChatGPT plugin that allows you to create websites from simple prompts. So in today's video, I'll be going over what exactly that plugin is. I'll be showing you how to use it and the results that I got when trying to build a website using this new ChatGPT plugin. So let's go ahead and get started. The plugin is called WebDev and as you can see by its description, it allows you to build a live website within seconds directly from the chat. You can preview and test your HTML code with JavaScript and CSS. I've tested out this plugin a couple of times for myself and I've ran into some issues. It's still a little bit buggy and sometimes you're not able to get the things that you want to get from it. But I found a couple of different methods that work the best when using this plugin. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to prime the AI to let it know that we'll be creating a website. So first I've told it that we'll be creating a luxury watch website and it's um, acknowledged that prompt and it's told us some things in which we need to keep in mind when creating that website. The first prompt is I've told it to let's create the live website, start with creating the heading menu, include home, about us, shop now, and contact us. And as you can see here, it's using the web dev um, plugin. And if we actually go ahead and click on the drop down menu, we can see the code um, being created uh, in real time. So as you can see here, this is the preview luxury watches, home, about us, shop now, and contact us. That's actually a really good um, heading and a good start. So let's go ahead and continue. We'll go ahead and create the second section, which will be the heading section. I found that when you generate section by section using this plugin, you're able to get much better results rather than telling the AI to generate a full website with five sections um, for your specific brand. When you do so, sometimes it times out and you're not able to get the request back from the plugin. But when you do it step by step and in a more sequential manner, you are able to get back better results. So that's why I did the first section, which was the menu. Now we'll be doing the hero section, which is um, we're going to tell the AI to create the hero heading section, have an image as the background, then have the words time is money, invest wisely on the hero image, and then have a button with the shop now in red at the bottom. So essentially we're building up the website. Now it's going to be the hero section of the website. We're going to have an image for the background, and then we're going to have some text and a call to action. So here is the website that's been updated. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. It's following the instructions. We have a background image. We have the text overlay, which is time is money, invest wisely. And we have a shop now button. Now I want to change this background image and I'll show you guys exactly how to do so. So first we're going to head over to Unsplash or you can use any website in which you're um, trying to find your images. And we're going to find an image that we want to use for this website. So then once we find the image, we're going to copy the image address. Head back over to ChatGPT. And then we're going to tell it to replace the background image of the heading section, which was the original section with this image. And we've pasted in the new image. Um, so what's uh, the app going to do now? It's going to take that image and replace it on the website. OK, so here is the new updated image. And as you can see, it's using the new image instead of the old one. So again, you can play around with this and find whichever image you like the best. Just copy over the image address. And then head back over to ChatGPT and then paste it in here. And you can just tell it to simply replace that background image. So this is a new image. And again, you can play around with this and find whichever one you like the best. For this example, I'll probably keep this one because I think it looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and stick with that image. Now let's move on to the next sections. Next up, I've told it to create a pricing section with our flagship watch, include a product name, description, and a price, and an image of the watch. What I found is that you're able to create your headers and your menu pretty easily when using this plugin. But when it goes further than that to create more sophisticated parts of the website, sometimes the app can crash and you're not able to get the outputs. So let's cross our fingers and hope that we're able to get um, this pricing section. So that didn't work. And again, this is the issue with this plugin is that it doesn't work all of the times. So you kind of have to really play around with it to get um, consistent outputs. So let's go ahead and try a new prompt with something a little bit more simpler. And while that's loading up, I wanted to show you guys another website that I was able to create when I was testing out this tool. And we were able to create an FAQ section, a couple of questions there and answers. And we also were able to create a pricing. And we were also able to create a pricing section with basic pro and premium. And we have the buy now sections here. Of course, this is not a beautiful website by any means. But if you wanted to create very simple websites, then this can be useful because you can then convert um, this into CSS or whatever um, code language you're using, and then create your own website um, using that code. Instead of having to build it from the scratch, you can definitely get some help with using um, this plugin. And again, this is another website in which I was working on. And as you can see, you're able to do the header and the menu, but you're not really able to go any further than that. And trust me, I tried really um, hard to get to that point. So a little bit disappointing there, but I wanted to show you guys this plugin because it seems very promising. 
I don't know exactly what the issue is right now. Maybe there's something wrong that I'm doing, but I highly suggest that you test it out for yourselves and see if you're able to get some better outputs um, compared to what I was able to do. But I do think that in the future, this will be greatly improved and you will be able to create websites uh, much easier and much quicker using this plugin. So let me know if you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you give this a try and you were able to get much better results than I did. Um, and let me know in the comments below if there's any um, tips or tricks that you have when using this plugin. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Till next time, stay well.